baby Josiah done fucked up and he is mad about it. Hey there, it's Scotty and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi. My name is Scotty. We do play The Sims here. And um, if you're coming back, hi friend. Um, welcome to part four of Zio Mara and um, Josiah Van Housen. You gotta catch us on the live streams to get all the tea, but Josiah fucked up. Um, he has the self-absorbed trait and he just decided to think about him and he saw a girl that he thought was irresistibly beautiful and he took her out for drinks in the college town and Ziomara found out. She called She said, I'm just texting TK telling that we, you know, we just stepped out for a little bite to eat. He said, yeah. Just a little bite to eat. She said, so, Mr. Josiah. He said, oh, no, you was about to say, tell me about you, and I need to hear more about you. She said, more about me? He said, listen, fun girl like yourself, don't run across every day. Um, be jealous. Oh, my God, she's jealous. <laughs> she's a um she's like josiah what are you doing oh my god are you she called her cousin tk well tk is technically her nephew not even technically he's actually her nephew but he, tk is six months older than her um child and <laughs> tk came down to that bar and Ziomara very much asked TK to beat him up. And so he did. She said, hey, you guys can't be in here fighting like this. TK said, we aren't fighting yet. Asshole. <clears throat> Think you can do this. It's like, TK, stop. Get him. Get him, make him, make him hurry. Get him. <sighs> She's like, TK, quit it. Oh my God, you are really making this worse. She's like, you know what? I'm not going to watch. And so Josiah is, his, he's facially healing. But he is on Van Housen Ranch, and he is talking to his older brother, John. This is John Van Housen. That's John's wife, Mimi, and their daughter, Lolita. And I think Big Daddy, Van Housen, nope. Charlene and Eugene are out here. Um, that's actually, in my head, that's, those are their names. Um, Charlene and Eugene uh, Van Housen. Uh, but, you know, in in the game, they're big mom and daddy. So Big Mama and Big Daddy are out there and Josiah just, you know, he kind of snuck past him because he wants, he wants John to help him beat TK up. And I just, he's like, he's like, you know, John, I just feel like, you know, he, he just snuck me. He snuck me, John, and it won't fair. So I just want my one back. Quit. Okay. Oh, he's leaving. Okay. John's like, hmm. Will you gonna help him do it? So, no, he seemed like he got himself into a little bit of trouble. She said, let me go talk to him. Go on and talk to him, girly. Where are you going? Oh, he's got class. Damn. Okay. Well, that's fun. It's like 8.27 in the morning, and Josiah is good for leaving people. He's young, 
and very inexperienced. So, shit, he did it to us just now. Now, John, why don't you come over here and, uh, <laughs> tell, oh, Lord. She said, ooh, let me get out y'all way. Now, Charlene, don't you be playing in here. Are you watching? Who? My game has been so glitchy today. Um. Oh, he's. Oop. He said, I'm just going to give him a minute. Um. How about you? Okay, first of all. He's like, excuse me. Excuse, excuse. Daddy. Can I, uh. Can, can, I, can I catch your ear for a moment? Ah, uh, let me see. <laughs> she said, it seems like one of them <laughs> children wants your attention, baby. They always want something. Hey. Hey, daddy. Naya flu. <laughs> All right, John, what you want? Interrupting my, my mama time. I'm gonna forget you said that, Big Daddy. Um, listen. Squabble. Josiah come up in here talking about some boy put his hands on him, and he wants some retribution. Barbina. Barbina. Oh, said, oh, Josiah out there getting his licks in, is it? Uh, said he might be. He might be. He said, where Josiah at now? <laughs> is he here? I want to talk to him. I want to see what happened in this fight thing. So no, he went to class. But something about him and that girl. Somebody jumped on him behind that girl, but I think he might have been in the wrong, Daddy. Oh, you think so? Well, sit down and tell me about it. I said, what that boy getting himself into? He said, I said, well, Big Daddy, I just... I, I think he might have, he might have messed up, you know, wandering eyes. And so, oh, Josiah is a rolling stone, huh? Well, you know, you leave him to me. He came to you because you was brother, but you let his daddy talk to him. Said, All right, daddy. Ooh. She said, the horses got out. He said, whoa, 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 it's, listen, we are down here in the gulch, it's fine, it's fine, you know, they know where to come, come home to, it's just the thunder and the lightning, all right, calm down, Mimi, calm down. So this is the Van Housen family, we do need to get to know them a little bit better, simply because, um, even though Zilmar and Josiah are technically broken up, I do still plan on them being in game, but it's going to be fun to get back there. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, I do want to look at the Van Housens in a different light because I really do actually love them. But through Zeo's lens, they are mean, rich country people. And she's not wrong, but they are a very large and loving family that has a lot of um, horses and a lot of land. And a lot to offer, actually. So, I do want to play a little bit over here. Just, you know, so we can kind of get Josiah's side of the story before we go over there to Zio, who is probably heartbroken and crying in a room full of flowers. Um, so, yeah. But, so Big Daddy and John are um, kind of discussing what to do with Josiah because they are, again, a close, nosy family. And um, that should be the emphasis there. They are kind of nosy. Like, when somebody tells one, everybody knows. Um, and, yeah. But Mimi just came in here shouting. The thunderstorm is probably scared the horses off. And John just knows we are down at Galloping Gulch. The horses will be all right. She's like, all right. I'm going to trust in you, John. He said, now, you know you need to go down there and get them damn horses, right? And I know that, I know, I just don't want her to worry, you know? 
She gets so worried sometimes. He said, yeah, that's what they do. It's all right. He said, you know, she she want another baby. He said, all right now. And where that baby gonna live? He said, Big Daddy, we got the room, don't we? He said, that's Desiree's room. If Desiree wanna come back, she can live in that room all she want to. <laughs> he said, uh, okay, fair. But Big Daddy, let me let me let me chew your ear on something, all right? Um, I uh, Desiree's a grown woman, and she's engaged. And I'm just saying, if Mimi and I do have another baby, we gonna need that room, or we gonna need our own plot of land. Oh, okay. Oh, you you in your negotiating bag today? I go ahead and negotiate. Mr. Lawyer Man. He said, now, Daddy ain't got to be all that. I'm just coming to you man to man. You know? He said, I, and, I, and I understand that. I, I see, I see you. you up for night? What do you think the best thing to do for your family to be? Because I ain't going to lie, I need you here on the ranch now. Ha <laughs> He said, that damn Josiah in college. And he ain't moving back for a while out there making knucklehead yeah. mistakes. You know what, Big Daddy? Let me think on it with Mimi and we'll we'll talk. Wanji Minerva. The Mimi right here. He said, Yeah, let me just switch over to my wife, okay? Big Daddy said, Oh wait, no. You're right here now. Go ahead. Go ahead and ask her. Said, all right, all right, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Ask me what? She said, look, since we ain't going outside today, working in them fields or finding them horses, I'm going to have me a little drink to drink. He said, okay, hey, me, I need to, uh, I'm going to talk to you in a minute. He said, well, what are we talking about? Now, boy, you can't be afraid to talk to her. When you want something, you got to ask, don't you? Okay. He said, Big Daddy, I ain't afraid to ask nobody something. Don't say that. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Listen, he said, ooh, Big Daddy, I'm going to give a nasty advice. He said, listen, when you go in for that second baby, you got to make sure you, you lay on it in there and then lay your seed down. He said, oh, Big Daddy. Da daddy, daddy, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, no, that's oh, nasty. Shoot. Don't say that no more. <laughs> he tried to act like he don't like it. Um, but do you like potty humor? Big Daddy over there telling dirty jokes, okay? Um, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Um, and we're, jo <laughs> we're jokesters. Okay, that's funny. That is funny. Now, Charlene, Charlene. What you doing? She said, doing what y'all ain't. Y'all sitting here gabbing. <laughs> Brother Shay, lost All right. Um, now. Josiah. What time is it? It's 1047. Um, he's got another class at 130. Okay. So, how about you come back here. And use Browse for the shade Alright, so Why are you in such a good mood, sir? A special connection? Was that for me? Alright, so the boys are off to class and everything Um, yeah, everybody's in school right now He ain't limping no more. He is dripping wet though. So, go on down here and talk to your big daddy. Um, <laughs> Zeo's calling. Zeo said, do you want to come over? <laughs> Jesus, Zeo. Stand up, girl. Stand up. Damn. Damn. 
I at least wanted to be mad at the boy. Like, <laughs> you know, she just, she can't help it. Um, M4M. <laughs> <what is it? laughs> hey, Big Daddy. He said, now, since you here, Jojo, you won't go ahead and tell Daddy what happened? Let's see, you ain't tell him already. Oh, he told me. Got your ass whooped. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. So who whooped your ass? <laughs> Some big, light-skinned... Wolf boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big light skin boy. Who <laughs> what's the name of this big light skin boy that beat you up? He like look. How how did it get there? I wanna know how it got got to a physical altercation in public. You supposed to be in school. You supposed to be over there learning and coming home with an education and a degree. And you out there getting beat up by light skinned people. What happened? You don't focus on the wrong thing, big daddy. Listen, so he said, go on ahead, eat your hot dog, have a little lunch. But I, I need to stir it. I need to stir it. I need to stir it. Jean said, look, he don't want to tell. He don't want to tell it. He said, listen, he already told her he might as well tell the whole thing. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, Big Daddy, I'm going to complain about my problems, okay? <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, See, taking his time eating that hot dog, ain't he? Little bitty bites. <laughs> Not y'all sitting around here clowning him. He's like, oh my god. All right, all right, fine. So, the big light skinned boy, his name is TK. Theodore Koji. Everybody call him TK, though. And he, he, had this, he brought this girl around that don't nobody really know like that. And he said, okay, mm hmm. And, and you know, I saw it, and I don't know. There, there's something about it. She was like, she like vivacious, and you know, she she just speak her mind. She kind of fun, you know. Like, I, but I asked her to go get a drink at the bar. You know, we was all we all friends in the same friend group. Like, I just asked her to go get a drink at the bar, and. Somebody saw us and called Zio, and she came, and um, the big light skinned boy is also a cousin, and he um, uh, so he did you up good, didn't he? Sound like he deserved to beat your ass. Got what you asked for. Big Daddy didn't even have to say that. He said, you got what you asked for, okay? So sit and think on that, Josiah. Sit and think, okay? I just want you to sit and think on that. Um, I am actually, we're going to go ahead and switch over to um, to my Zio Mara. And, yeah, let me not control him no more. And, um, yeah, we're going to switch over to Zio Mara. And we'll see you over there. All right, and as we load in here, Zio and Joe have <laughs> kind of hanging out. So, I have a feeling Zio and Mara doesn't like to be alone. We just broke up. Ooh. Um. Ooh, we're on our, okay. We're on our period. And she's going through a bit of a mood swing. Um, she is dripping blood. So, I think we got, ooh. My game has been so laggy. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we got our, um, yeah, our tampons. So, let's come and use a tampon. Yes, okay. Uh-oh. Jesus, okay, she's having a bit of a mood swing, but she's... Her mood is up and down. 
behind Josiah. The thing is, is that she's not exactly mad at him anymore. Mostly because she misses him. She sent him pictures. She was texting him while she he was at his parents' house. Um, so, I'm, yeah. Oh, she got a pizza. I think she more misses him. Let's, let's see if he's done with class. Okay, she used a menstrual pad. Why am I lagging so much? Um, let's chat with him. I was like, girl, what are you in there doing? She's like, nothing. She said, what are you doing? I said, why are you whispering? Because I shouldn't be talking to you. Do you want to come over? I said, yeah. She said, can you come over? I just want to talk. I'm sorry. Now, can, can, uh, is shorter. <laughs> mm, I'm sorry. My game is so laggy; it's kind of throwing me off. But, um, girl, look, send Joe home. Okay. Sit. Actually, listen. We're kind of embarrassed. I think, like, because. She knows she shouldn't want. I know it's because she's having a mood swing and she's on her period, but it's because we know Jos we shouldn't want Josiah. He went on a full date with this other girl and the only reason he didn't do anything with her is because we caught him. Um, But still, um, give yourself a pep talk, girl. Graham? She's like, you're not stupid. You know, we've been in love forever. She's like, we've been dating like a year and some change. Like, you can't just throw that away. No, I just need to breathe, okay? Um, why don't we go ahead and put on some clothes for the day? What are we feeling, Miss Girl? Um, hmm. It was like a, we just had a breakup, so like, let's, let's just put on something casual, you know? Something real cash. Ooh, okay, are our clothes ah. dirty? Look at this view, though. Ugh. Come on, New Appaloose. Little quiet town. I feel like it's very up and coming. Bergs. She is. Oh, my poor baby. My poor baby. Um, alright. What are you about to do? Grab a drink. You know what? Go ahead. Ugh. She is annoyed about it. Let's get rid of Joe. Joe, hey, um, thanks for being a friend and all, but I'm about to have a sneaky link. So, she said, ooh, with who? She said, it's a secret. I don't want to spoil it too soon. But yeah, you got to be gone by the time he gets here, okay? She said, okay, girl. Well, I'm right next door, so holler if you need me. I said, look at you moving on. See? You're doing good, Zio. She said, thank you. Tell me more compliments about me, please. You are so stupid. But uh, seriously, Zio, you've been through a lot lately, and I'm happy for you. Well, she's like, girl, stop dragging it. <laughs> stop dragging it. I'm trying to, trying to get my man back. Move. She's like, look, I'll tell her when I, when it happens, okay? 
we just need to work through some things and my heart can't take it but Joe's like I'm so glad you're moving on you know because a lot of people would just like you know it's hard to leave somebody she's like Joe 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 yeah right Joe he's coming like he's gonna be downstairs soon so Joe's like okay all right consider me gone I'll be right next door Joe why don't you come and uh, here play the game okay oh oh shit oh shit look at Joe she's like mmm Okay. Zio, you've got company. Oh, no. My heart. My heart. He said, I'm, st I'm still sorry, Zio. <laughs> it's just so hard looking at you sometimes. Okay. All right. All right, Miss Girl. Um. Okay, so let's make sure. Um, our door is. I'm so ready for this pack, so I have to keep doing this. Um, let's lock the door for everyone but Zio Mara, and then I want to allow access to Zio and Joe. And are we in a? Okay. So, Josiah, let's put you in a group. Let's put you in a little group. Uh, um, I'm going to put you in a group. You ain't got me. We could finish off this, like, maybe he just wants to sit here with me and maybe we can get drunk and talk about it. He's like, I'm checking my college school portal. Give me one second, I'm sorry. Now, boy, you know she hated you in school, okay? He's actually missing class to be here. Oh, he's just maybe turning in an assignment. She said, do you want some wine? Oh, the guy selling nectar is gone, okay. It's like so. She's like so. You called me over, and you came. Mm. Yeah. Uh. Hey, oh. Boy, she watched the TV. Look at her. She's just like, Ugh. he needs to be apologizing to me. Not you. This is how you know she loves him. She about to cook. She about to make some damn waffles. She is about to cook food, not just because she hungry, because she knows she want to feed him. <sighs> okay, please stop being so embarrassed. I'm sorry. Huh. Um, how much time do you got on these waffles? Fifteen minutes? Cool. Um, is this gonna be like the reconciliation? Is this the love language? Like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do stuff for you. Cause y'all do need to talk it out. What's the garage? She's like, I'm making waffles. Are you hungry? Yeah, I could eat. She's a good. Look, Zio don't like a dirty house. Okay, she gonna wash her plate. She gonna wash her stuff. Josiah just put something on. And boy, you was really distracted in this TV. Do do me a favor, okay? Do me a favor. Try and get back in there. All right. Um, because they're separated right now. 
but we could get back. Um, I want to see if we can do that. And then also, there should be... Hmm. Oh no, there it goes. I was like, I don't see it. It's the separation menu. Um, offer to give relationship. Okay, so we can't do this yet. We can't get back just yet. But I want him to apologize for past mistakes. And we're going to do a bunch of stuff from the separation <laughs> menu. It's like, I probably shouldn't be grabbing on the right now. Oh. And then he hugged her. I'm really glad you invited me over. She's like, I'm glad you're here. I see you still got the tulips. Smart, that you, your family got you. She said, yeah. They're still good, so I still got them. It's like, I'm really sorry. You know, I I don't know what came over me. And you know, just know, me and that girl, I ain't never gonna see her again. She said, okay. Sure. You say that. Like, I don't even know why you did it in the first place, Josiah. Um, girl, let's just, let's just listen. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're already vulnerable. He was, he... He feels like because he apologized, he's feeling like the man. And sir, sir, um, blame for relationship problems. Uh, well, he's trying. And so I want her to try. So let's attempt peaceful discussion. I'm Jim. She's like, Josiah, oh you just have to Look tell me, like, what dirty little mind you have, like, what made you look at her and say, she, she's the one that I would ruin something for? You know, what, what, let me see, hold on. Also, what, 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 what made you do that? He's like, I don't know. She's like, you don't know? He's like, I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking at all. Clark. That's your excuse, okay. I just don't feel like that's good enough. Like, you weren't thinking? Like, what What? what weren't you thinking about Josiah? I, I don't know. I, I, what do you want me to say, Zio? Like, she's like, <laughs> you think she's prettier than me. You think she's more beautiful than me. And if you think someone's more beautiful than me, they can just steal you away from me. And that's not a good feeling. It really means a lot to me that you made time for me. Just wanted to let you know. I really do. It's the fact that he's here having the conversation with her. She's like, you know what? I'm still mad at you. Yeah. I know. She's like, oh my God, your eye. Look at it. Eh, it's healing up. this rock. Yeah, but you look terrible right now. He said, hey, you should see the other guy. She said, I saw the other guy. He's fine. You didn't hit him. Are you... Just are you joking? Are you trying to make a joke? Baby, I'm trying. I'll try anything. It Just a lapse in judgment. It really won't gonna go nowhere. I just... You know, Bright Chester... Everybody's hanging out. We just wanted to try the bar. It was late. TK was asleep. It sounds good enough to believe. But I know what I saw. Yeah. Okay. Is this your song? Are you jamming while sad? You're like, this is my song. Oh, he's trying, Zio. She's like, I think the waffles are done. Um, let's come in, um, collect them. We'll probably, I don't know, we'll just probably eat in the living room. It's cold out, isn't it? Oh no, it's cool. Alright, and then let's... Sedna! <laughs> And let's 
let's grab a survey. He's like, I'll do the dishes. She's like, good. She's like, I don't want to play any games, Josiah. He said, and I'm not trying to play games with you. You know? I'm serious about this. I want to get back together. I want to see... I just want to see if I ooh, reminisce about past good times. These interactions <laughs> are so great. Listen to the sound of rain. Renewal. It's a little cool out, but that's nice. You know, we got our sweater on. And Josiah's country, so he ain't got nothing on his arms. He's like, you know, you remember Hello. when I bought you that necklace? She said, yeah, it was so pretty. And you know, I proposed to you. Yeah. If you let me, we can get back there. Ooh. She tired. She just got up and left. Sorry. Well, Josiah, I think the best thing for you to do would be not to push too hard and let her sleep, okay? Let her sleep, and then you, maybe, come and take a nap beside her. Napping together is intimate. Now, the same girl Joe wanted to flirt with was the one he asked out, so I don't know what it is about Sharita. They love it. Um, Joe, you seem hungry, sis. Why don't you come and have a little dinner? Um, make some mac and cheese, sis. Joe's about to make some craft macaroni and cheese to have for dinner after playing video games all, all afternoon. Joe, baby, we need a job. Um, we need a job. I know you want to do your paranormal shit. Um, and but you need a job, okay? Like very much so. How many satisfaction points do you have? You have eight hundred and fifty. Um. So let's see, Joe. Ooh, we could be a simfluencer. Um. Got a webcam. Got a hand of personality. Be a simfluencer. What? Well, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't have the camera. We got the personality, though. Is this part-time? Could we get this and another job? And then the Simfluencer starts from 5.30 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. And then we can do fast food in the evenings. And I think with the Sim... Oh, we could switch... 9 p.m. to 11. See, we can get off our fast food job and then do right after that, come home, do a little simfluencing. Um, yeah. Can I get two part time jobs? Let's just look online, see what jobs we can get. We're a table cleaner, but also, or we could just do this in the morning, wake up in the morning, do that, have all day, then go to our job at night. Or we could do, mm, I don't know. Um, no. Okay, so maybe I need to accept the 530 one. I heard we could have two jobs, so I'm going to try and get two jobs. That's what I heard, this storm. Ugh. The Chestnut Ridge New Appaloosa storms. I kind of love them, though, okay. Like, isn't that nice? 
Joe is gloomy. Oh, okay. I was wondering why Joe was a... Joe's just a sad kind of gal. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's clinical depression. And she's tired, but she'll be all right. Yeah, you need to get some money coming in, so, you know, if Ziomar ever asks for rent, you can pay it. Um, yeah, just so we can, you know, we're not freeloading out here. We're trying to pay our way. We probably need to search our pockets for a little extra money. I need to get the SMB bank mod so that she can have her own little bank account. Um, okay, great. Yeah, now that that worked. So we can do two jobs. We need to reach entrepreneur skill level two and then level two charisma and post a review. So first things first, we probably need a laptop. So, Joe, do you have any discernible skills? You got a protein shake in there. I'm looking in here. Is there anything that you... Oh, you got a word for the tablet? Hold on. Playboy Critter Go. Well, Joe, do that. Um, Let's see. What are what are your... Fitness is level 10. Work. She's got a level 4 medium skill. We really do need to get into... I might have Joe take a week-long vacation to a haunted house. And we might stay in there so we can get our paranormal license. Um, hmm. Level 4 medium skill, you know, level 3 video gaming. I'm trying to see what she can make money doing. It almost seems like nothing. Um, okay. And yes, we're gonna do that. Okay. And now you're mortified too. Oh my god. Okay, so. She's searching her laundry. Zio and Josiah are in here having an early, kind of an early night. Ooh, she found 70 bucks in her pockets. Joe, are you sloppy? How do you just leave 70 bucks in your pockets? Mm -hmm. do you, okay, she's checking for void critters. Um, Is there an articorn in the bathroom? Maybe. Who knows? I'm gonna go check that. Also, she needs to go to sleep, too. Zoma oh! Who was that? Corb. We collected one. Oh, shit, it's right there. Okay. Little monster thing. This is a mod by Ravishin. Um, Void Critter Go. It's like Pokemon Go. Y'all remember when Pokemon Go came out? Set my summer on fire. Oh. Oh, I was out here walking, baby. <laughs> oh, I was walking. I was fine to meet my Pokemans. Uh, waga. Oh, okay. Um, well, you, you got one. Do you want to check the other side of the apartment, or you maybe want to check the hall? You do need to go to sleep. You're, like, very tired, so let's do that. Oh. We feel better. Here, wake him up. <laughs> uh, <Rogaba>. Flirt <laughs> with Madeline. Who is Madeline? Oh. Theo, are you just in a... She wants to level up in charisma. Are you just in a flirty mood? She's sobering up. Un Ooh. Uncertain future. Theo Mara is concerned about her romantic relationship at the moment. Will they get back together or split forever? What should she do? Oh, poor baby. She's a little irritated, too. She's like, get out of my bed. Oh, Wake up. <laughs> uh. Um. I almost want to thank him for being sweet, but then also, like... <sighs> Here's the thing about that. You're the reason that you have to be, because you, you fucked up, A.A. Ron. Um, so... But get her another necklace, okay? You gonna shower this lady in gifts? He said, she said, he said, I'm sorry. I can't say it enough, and I don't want to. 
Josiah. When did you buy this? I said, I picked it up on my way over. For you. There you go. Does it look nice? I said, I love it on you. Thank you. Look at her. She's like, thank you so much. You know, I love jewelry. Ooh. I said, how am I doing? Good. If you never noticed, Ziomar and Josiah have matching tattoos. They went and got matching tattoos a long time ago. Before I started the series. Um, Yeah, you probably don't notice. But yeah, they have matching tattoos. That's why this is so... They're just too connected. They're just too connected. She said, like, where are you going? He's like, I got some work to do. And, um, you know. She's like, look, I'm going to wrap my... I'm gonna wrap my dirty little tentacles around him and just pull him in. She's like, he got me a necklace. Oh my god. Um. Here. Look, we got a little golden heart. Um, what a beautiful necklace. See, Omar feels extremely happy to have a partner. See? She's like, where are you going so fast? He's like, oh, I didn't know if you wanted me to stay. I just, I wanted to lay down with you, and then I don't want to overstay my welcome or anything. She said, you aren't. You can stay if you want. Do you want to spend the night? He's like, do you want me to spend the night? She's like, I, I um... Like, kind of. Like, I could stay or I could go. What do you want me to do? She said, Why don't you stay? Alright, let's go. It's like, I'm having a little privacy, okay? Joe, how you feeling? He used the condom, thank God. Oh, no babies. No babies. Joe needs some social. Baby, do you have any friends? That girl that you want to flirt with. I'm going to send her a text. <sighs> hey, heard what happened with Zio and Josiah and TK. Sorry about it. I'm here if you want to talk. She said, oh, was that stupid? Oh my God, was that dumb? That was so dumb. I shouldn't have did that. Ugh, God. She was like, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Let me just... get under there and cry about that until I get a text back. Alright. So, you do that. You gonna put her to sleep, Joe? Oh. I was like, I should get going. She's like, wait, are you, are you leaving? I said, yeah, I'm staying up at the ranch. And, uh, you know, Big Mama don't like me coming in after midnight. Even though, even, she said, even though you're grown? He said, yeah. All right, bye, baby. Not you being sweaty. She's like, Ugh, he could have stayed. And he could have. Um, now... I'm going to have her, we're going to play through till tomorrow because I do want another, um, I do want to fill another unit and we've been putting out, um, oh Jesus, we've been putting out, um, some ads and stuff and I think I found a candidate and, um, yeah, we're just going to get them in here eventually. But, yeah, Zio kind of took today, you know, to kind of get herself together. Um, you know, you want to take a bath after, after that sort of thing. Actually, before we get, before we go any further, how about we just...
just to, you know, just to, I doubt it. Oh, you were staring at that a little too long. Okay, thank God. Um, it was protected and everything, but you, know, you never want to be too sure. You never want to be too sure. Joe, we can hear... Hello? Joe, we can hear you through the walls. Oh my God, she's loud. I want to go bang on our door like, shut up. Is it cold? It's only cool, so we don't really need to turn the thermostat on or anything. Oh my god. Um, so we're kind of awake now. So let's come and check to see if we have any replies to any of the um, ads that we have put out for filling the units. Um, any applications filled out or anything. Let's see. Um... So, oh, is that, is that going bad? Huh. Here, let's yeah. put that away. Kind of, once we check. It's like, oh, okay. Huh. I hope it's not too late for me to reply to emails. It's 1.30 a.m. It is, she's like, I'm such a nerd. I'm so studious. Look at me over here replying to emails at 1.30 a.m., Ziomara, at 1.30 a.m., okay? So send it back and then be like, hey, mm. Would you be available for an apartment interview tomorrow? Okay, so I want to rent out this unit here, right? Um, so we're kind of getting this place up just a little bit. What's up here? Dirt. All these units are empty. So I want to put this... Oh, Jesus. Um, she needs a vacuum. And also, we need to hire, like cleaning services for the building so that's an expense one we didn't think about Ooh, I'm so ready to get into the property management of it all I am so ready um let's see oh she's still cleaning up I just love the storm sounds like ah oh, the storms here so Peaceful and relaxing. I know it's a thunderstorm. All right, and this bison stew went bad. Oh man, they seem to like her bison stew though. We're gonna have to keep that up. We have to keep that up. I just like watching my siblings do little chores and noodle around and stuff. All the food we make goes bad because we, yeah, so it's, it's my fault. I don't put things away. Um, all right, so we have an apartment interview, but we have to make sure this place is cleaner than what it is. Okay, so real quick, before we do anything, I want to do like, I want to do a little bit of some making over of this space so we kind of have like the same kind of walls in everybody's apartment they're just different colors so um the person that i think is going to move in here is maybe going to be a bit of a i don't know an ogre type or at least that could be like what goes on in the hallways here and then maybe on this wall um, I don't know anything about floor plan right now. Let's, hmm. So let's give it a bit of a floor plan. Spinning it. 
Okay, um, yeah, I just had to pop into build mode and get some of that. Um, just put down a couple of items and then I kind of got carried away. Um, so we have mostly a, a functioning kitchen in here for the guests. I mean, not the guests, the, um, the new person moving in. We're going to kind of let them finish furnishing and everything. Did not paint that wall. He's got an accent wall. Cool. Um, it is very, very dusty in these rooms, okay? So we are going to clean up. Joe's going to sleep. Just kind of see her. She's lonely though. Oh baby. And just so okay, this doesn't vacuum lightly. Ooh, my head is leaking. Oh, I think she's gonna go change it. She said, oh. Yeah, yeah, it's. She went immediately to the bathroom to fix her pad. Okay, work. <laughs> we're gonna get sick, is you? Oh my god. I think we're getting ill a little bit. And, um, yeah, psych ourselves up. We're gonna do good on our interview, okay? <laughs> this is like our first real, our first real thing. Like, our <laughs> first real uh, resident. <laughs> I'm like, I'm excited. She's like, look at me being the businesswoman I'm supposed to be. That's right, girl. We're doing it. We're doing it. Mom will be proud. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and get homeboy over here for his interview. And yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so Zeo has gotten the new applicant here. And she's asking, he's like, I mean, the space is kind of small. And I thought it would be a little more, but for eight fifty a month, I, I can handle that. Okay. Yeah. Um, cool. Look, well, she just wants to do a good job. She's like, uh, sure. Look at his face. <laughs> um, let's tell about the space a little bit. Full disclosure, I was recording and there was no... I was playing and I wasn't recording and I don't know how and I'm so annoyed right now, but... <laughs> She's like, look, rent's due on the first, eight fifty a month, and it's quiet. The building is new. The rent is cheap because the building's not open yet, and you know we're just getting some. You know we're filling it up as we go. You know to interested people, and I just it's been so fun, and I'm so excited. 
He's like, okay. All right. She's like, look, you're going to love it here, I promise, okay? And if you do, you go online and give us a good review. He's like, okay. Um, can you get out of my apartment now? I mean, it's not exactly your apartment yet, sir. Like, relax. Relax a little bit. Um, can I ask for the new roommate? I don't particularly need to control him. Hmm. Let's do it on the roommate system. I see you got a bed in here. Narshaya. So. Already have a Oh, damn it. You know what? Here, sir. We just gonna add you to the family. All right. Okay. Yeah. Let's add him to the building. And then, um, yeah. Add to roommates. And then, um, yeah. So now he's one of our roommates. I think that's how that works. Uh, let me see. Yeah, he's our roommate. Okay, cool. Um, and now... Everyone but roommates. Okay, great. Um, and now Zio, why don't you go back to your apartment? Yeah, you can go back to your apartment. Oh, she's getting a little sick. And, yeah. Homeboy can just kind of sit here, and then we can... Oh, this door is locked. My bad. There we go. And now we could do a little apartment build for Buddy Row over here. Um, so this is Walton McNamara. I was recording. She did have a conversation with him um, where we were kind of getting to know him, but he is a college professor um, just looking for a small apartment so that he, um, he wants to chat with his neighbor. Yeah, he's just looking for a small apartment um, to rent. You know, he showed up here with his car because he's got a, you know, got a little tile. That's the old vehicle right there. Joe doesn't have one. Um, so yeah, we are. He is just kind of a random sim. He's like nobody to no one, and he just needs a place to live. So we do need like random sims, you know, to live here as well. So, um, yeah, we gonna do a little apartment build around him, and we'll see you on the other side. Okay. Your body, it hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when your sweet talking to me. No talking sweet over myself. But your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don
hurts so much to think of you as someone else. I can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. No talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'ma do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Your love, 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 put your love on me. Talking to me, no I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'ma do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Don't get me wrong, sure we're having fun But it don't mean that I'm in love I like you a lot, but you gotta step up I'm through, trying to tell you what to do How to make me fall for you You should learn that on your own I play cool, cause I hope you pick it up soon you know just what to do don't you boy just be honest Tell you what to do, how to make me fall for you. You should learn that on your own. I play cool. All right, so I think I am happy with the way um, his apartment turned out. So let's kind of get going on a little tour here. My game betrays me every day. Oh, hey, girl. You can see her tattoo. Where you coming? What you doing? Ooh, she up to something. Mm -hmm. We just made a pizza, too. It's in her inventory. So, maybe she's coming over to welcome him to the apartment now that he's all moved in. But, um, yeah. So, that wall's unpainted. We gonna ignore that. Mm -hmm. So, we got a little closet down here. He has a uh, living room. It does seem to be functional. We've got some hanging plants over here. Um, everything seems to be functional. Um, I think I haven't had him cook in here yet, but we're going to pray. And, um, like, you know, it's really like a, it's like a masculine apartment for one, kind of. Um, it only is a masculine because of the color palette, but yeah. So, very small, very small, but it's, it's, you know, just for one person. So, it's fine. And, you know, he's got his, um, his bedroom, you know, 
he don't need much. This is probably as much as he can, you know, afford on an adjunct, you know, on an adjunct salary. So, um, let's have Zio kind of come in and he's a roommate and I'm just controlling him so he's not actually applying the household. Um, I wanted to come and, uh, let's just talk to him next. Um, okay, so I don't have to particularly stay in here, so... Not for any purpose of anything. I'm just going to lock them in here. Just because I want them to stay in, like, one apartment. Um, she's like, knock, oh, knock. Oh, like, oh, you just let yourself in? She's like, alone. hey, we're kind of close around here, you know? All of us, you know, just, well, me and Joe, we look out for each other. The building isn't technically open yet, you know? Um, we don't have a maintenance, we don't have a super yet, or... Um, you know, and the hot water heater is not necessarily, um, here just yet. He said, okay, that's why this place is so cheap. Yeah, 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 um, but hey, you're moved in. He said, why move me in so early? Why not just take your time, you know? Why, why not just, you know, wait for everything to get up and running? She said, I've got something to show for myself. You know, I feel accomplished this way. Why? So, I mean, usually, you know, you kind of want all your, your ducks in a row, all your eggs in one basket. Said, not me. I like to jump out there. I'm adventurous. Okay. But that's, that's the best way to... I don't want to get all in your business, but that's the best way to fail, isn't it? No. Maybe. But I'm doing alright. You live here now. I guess I do. Oh my god. I do. Shit. She said, what? Oh. Don't be laughing at my apartment. You can't afford a bigger unit. <laughs> okay. Alright. Oh, damn. She didn't say that. She's like, mm. So I brought a pizza? You want some pizza? I can eat, I guess. What are you watching? This is so weird. What are you watching? Are you alright? Yeah. He said, you're pregnant, are you? She said, ew. Gross. Okay. A little too much of my business, neighbor. He said, what? You jump in my pockets, I can't ask you about your pregnancy. I'm not pregnant. He said, I'm just saying. Seemed like he got a little rumbly in the tumbly. Maybe. Whatever. And where's that pizza at? Okay, well, no, what, sir, we want pizza. Um, this part is probably so long. But, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm kind of, I've, I'm like optimized for streaming, I guess. So like, I play my game for like long periods. So, it do you guys like longer parts? Um, do you guys, you know, do you like long parts? Do you want like little short thirty minute parts? Um, let me know. Let me know. Um, how about we call to a meal? Joe's back from work. Joe ain't got a job. So. Ooh, she works fast food. You better work, Joe Joe. Oh, yeah, no. You 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 go ahead and you eat your veggie sliders alone in your apartment. Sorry, babes. Alright. Tommy movie is kind of funny. So, you like it? She said, yeah. It's like one of those foreign films, isn't it? She said, it's kind of boring, but like in a fun way, you know? I love thought bubble conversations. It's like boring in a fun way, you know what I mean? He said, I guess, you know, it, your interpretation is interesting. Because everybody's interpretation is kind of correct. 
She said, you sound like a teacher. He said, I'm a college professor by trade, so you got me. Oh, okay. So what do you teach? He's like, literature, film, you know. The usual for a film snob. Excuse me while I read my book because I'm such a reader. Oh my god. Um, he's fun. I like him. Uh, I kind of just... He was just a semi kind of just grabbed off of my... Joe, would you, Joe is chilling after work. And he take her work clothes off. Ah, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm... Joe just distracted me. He said, well, it's getting late, so... I guess you can let yourself out, but not first next time. Okay. All right. He's a testy. Um, <laughs> girl, come back to your place. Oh, I locked the door. Good night. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm a door locker. -er. I lock my sims' doors all the time. Um, yep, just come back to your place, babes. He is in the bed. We're going to leave him with that pizza. You know, just to leave him with a pizza. Um, also, let me go ahead and lock this for everyone but roommates. And then he should be good in and out of there. And then everybody else's door is locked. So, perfect. And this is before the new pack. And I know there will be loading screens in between apartments um, once the new pack comes out. Which is mm, okay like come see come saw like you know i'm i'm not too upset about that uh i do know like they'll be out and about for us to see and you know get to know um yeah so we do have a second floor here we can um put those sim put more sims up there and decorate more apartments um and yeah we just kind of gotta move some sims in some fun sims but i do want to wait until the pack is out to do that and then i think i'm gonna put this um this place on the gallery just understand it does have cc and got some content in here so um yeah if you have any questions on what's in it let me know i'll try and find it and yeah i'm gonna end the part here thank you guys so much for watching i really do appreciate it um i know these parts are gonna be long and thank you guys for watching them and thank you for your comments they're really really sweet <laughs> i really really appreciate it so i will see you guys next time bye take a bite take a bite this is sour candy take a bite